welcome to Project Arrowhead. Today is June 11th. Can you believe it's June already? Can you pick your head up. Blinding the camera there. Yeah, I'm blinding over my forehead. <laughs> I'm blinded. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. We got to shut that music off, though. It's still in my ears for some reason. Well, yeah, it's still playing. Yes. So welcome to Project Arrowhead. I am your host, Jim Sagowitz, joined as always by James Patrick O'Grady. And just a reminder that Project Arrowhead is brought to you by the Lansdowne Pub, the Mohegan Sun's number one nightlife destination. Thursday nights, we have karaoke with James Patrick O'Grady. From yep. nine thirty till twelve ish. Yep, twelve fifteen, twelve thirty. Do something like that. And then on uh, Friday night, well, from six to nine, we have the magic of uh, the magic, <laughs> the music of Luke and Mike. And then Saturday night, starting at ten o'clock, the band, the Rockery, and uh, they are making their debut at the Lansdowne Pub. So, don't forget, as you can see, it's a good time. It's always packed. The place is rocking. That's the Lansdowne Pub located inside the beautiful Mohegan Sun. So, what's new? Not much, Jim. I actually just shared a post on the United FM uh, Facebook page. Just want to go take a look. We're taking a survey. I posted the pictures of these eggs. And I'm pretty sure they look white. They look white to me, but my girlfriend, she says <laughs> they're blue. They're blue. They're, no, blue. they're white. They're so blue. We gotta need. We need your help, guys. Go on to the United FM Facebook page. I just shared it on there. Comment: Is the eggs blue or are they white? Which I know that they're white because I'm looking right at them, and they're white. So <laughs> that's gonna be something that we're gonna talk about throughout the show. All right, and um, we do have a couple more events. Coming up on Saturday, June 29th, a public ghost investigation with Crossing the Veil, as you see right there on the screen. Um, the time slots are 6 to 7.30, 8 to 9.30, and 10 to 11.30. All the information is right there in front of you if you have any questions. Once again... Sarah says, can you post it in the comments so I don't have to leave the stream? Um, Sarah, don't, why don't you have two phones? Come on now. Yeah, we'll post in the comments right now. Anyway, there I'll it is. Right now. Public investigation at the Drunken Pallet with Crossing the Veil. It's going to be a good time. It is Saturday, June 29th, 2019. Um, Snow does a fantastic job. And uh, there's two types of investigations. So hit up the email that you see on the screen and reserve your spot. And uh, unfortunately, that's Barrett Jackson. So I unfortunately will not be able to be there. Um, but uh, like I said, Snow and the team do a fantastic job. You're going to learn a lot, and it's going to be a good time. So hope to see everybody there. <laughs> um, I know it means a lot to Snow. So see you there. Why do you want to draw a line down my forehead? <laughs> Why did she say that? You're a jerk. 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 Jocelyn. Haters going to hate. And we are live on WFPN in Norwich, Connecticut. A big shout out to them. Yep. So are those eggs white or blue, Sarah? I just posted it up. What do you think? I know that they're white. They're blue. They are definitely white. No, they're robin eggs. They're blue. I just posted it up. I'm pretty I'm, sure. I'm glad you posted it up. The eggs are blue. They Stop saying robin. People keep saying that. It's not even robin eggs. So what are they? I don't know. I don't know. They're robin eggs. I'm not a bird expert. Exactly. I'm just they... a color expert. I know that they're white. <sighs> hey, Jim, can you do it over there? Because for whatever reason, it won't let me share it on there. Do what? Keith, take the egg oh, you want me to pop up the Facebook page eggs? and put it up in the Where is comics. It? Let me get Jim, it. Jim's the video control man over Let there. I know you got him. two computers going now. Look at you, fancy. Well, we just had, a, we had a massive. Yeah, we had a massive. We had an upgrade. upgrade. It, it, it's going to take me a while to get everything going. Um, I know you can mess around with the graphics too, and you can put different things up oh, on the absolutely. screen. Let's see. No. 
Okay. Now, if you click the uh, the explanation mark, uh, erectile dysfunction will appear on his head. All right. See, oh, I don't nice. want to. I don't want to get all your nice, comments on there, but all right, the comments are going to be on there. Just ignore his comments. Here is a picture of the eggs. They're white. Okay, these are robin eggs. Oh, you can actually do it right now. And they are blue. Look how fancy we are. So they can right? actually see We're, that in the video right now. So yeah. you even have to put. Whoever's watching comments. us can see it. So they can't watch us though, right? So like I'm doing this, then they can't see that. The, right? No, they can't see you right now. They can't see that. No, no. Okay, good. So, okay, <laughs> these. Eggs. These eggs have yellow eyes. Um, no, these eggs are blue. They're white. They're blue. They are white. They are blue. <laughs> they are white. Oh, my God. If you look at all your freaking comments, all your comments say they're blue. Because they're wrong. Those people are wrong. So you're man. the only you. one that's right, and everybody else is wrong. I think they're yeah, look. white with blue spots. No, they are blue. See, Snow says blue. Jocelyn says, says blue. Breakfast colored. They're blue. They are robin eggs, and they're Laura blue. Bryce they said are, right. They are right. a light shade of blue, and they have dark White. blue speckles on. No, oh my God! Come on, man. I'm telling you, you probably think that dress is gold and in. in uh, oh, don't White. even start on that. You trying to say that? Yep. Right? Here we that go. That dress was actually blue. <laughs> yeah. You mean the gold one? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm not even going to repeat it. Put them back up on there. I am. Nobody wants to see your faces. Put that back up on there just I, so it gives them another chance to look. Okay, one more time. I'm going to put James's eggs back up on here. Are these eggs white or blue? They are white. Are blue. White. Blue. White. Blue. White. Blue. Blue. So, go to James Patrick O'Grady's Facebook page. Take a look at his eggs. Yes, look at my eggs all night. <laughs> And let us know what color they are. Oh sometimes my God. they're okay. blue, so sometimes now Sarah, they're white. Sarah is saying they are white with black spots. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, no, they are blue. I knew they I are, Sarah they are robin reason. eggs, and they are blue. No, they're not robin eggs, bro. They're, they're robin eggs. No, they're not. They are. They are most certainly. A, see, Kendrick no, says they're is blue. All fool. out of control. Well, Kendrick owes me money, so his opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> Kendrick, <laughs> your wow. opinion does not matter. You have okay. to pay to play, baby. Pay to play. So go to my Facebook then. Later, let us know. I'm telling you though, there's a lot of comments on my Facebook that said they're white. Jim's a liar. He's just Melissa there says to they're blue. Spread fake news. Well, Melissa doesn't count. He's showing either. a video of them right here. They're they're. I don't, oh yeah, they're tinted blue actually. The robin eggs. They are light blue. They are white. So, um, if you guys heard what happened yesterday, Ooh, shot, shot. Uh, actually Sunday night, um, while most of us were celebrating a. Bruins victory, uh, breaking news came in that David Ortiz had been shot. Uh, initial reports were that he was shot in the leg. Well, it turns out that that was not the case. Um, David Ortiz was shot in the back, and the bullet actually came out through his abdomen. He was uh, rushed to the hospital where they removed his gallbladder parts of his liver, his small intestines, and his large intestines. Um, the Boston Red Sox sent a plane, a medical plane, down to the Dominican Republic to fly David Ortiz back to the United States, and uh, he actually got a police escort. He landed in Boston about 10 o'clock last night and was given a police escort from the airport to the hospital. And uh, he was immediately put in surgery again. He underwent surgery till about 1 a.m. Uh, he's still in intensive care, but right now the prognosis is good. Uh, it's looking like he'll make a full recovery. And uh, just, just amazes me. R.I.P. He's sitting there, and uh, they did show a video of it. We're not going to show the video. It's 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 very disturbing video. We should show it. Where uh, he's just sitting there, the guy comes up behind him and just shoots him in the back. And, Did they um, say why? Nobody knows. Motive? Nobody knows. He's from he's from there, right? He's from the Dominican Republic. So they're probably just haters. Cause it he, could be. Um, he was able to leave. And there's also a bunch of Americans who were killed down in the Dominican Republic. Also, other Americans that were killed down in the Dominican Republic. So, who knows? Why do you think that's happening? Because it's crazy down there. They, they don't like Americans. Most people don't like Americans. 
I like Americans. But I hope so. You are an American. <laughs> um, people in Mexico are killing Americans. People in the Dominican public now are apparently killing Americans. And uh, I don't want to say that there's some kind of serial killer down in in the Dominican Republic, um, whether they're poisoning Americans or whatever. It's just funny because they drink something and uh, then they don't wake up. Whatever they're drinking is killing them. So what are you talking about like tourists? Like people that have mm-hmm. been dying? Yep. They're just poisoning the drinks? It, that's what it looks like so far. They, uh, they have a drink and then... Uh, Sarah, there's nothing there. All we can see is what you're you're writing. <laughs> what did she put? She says these are robin eggs, <laughs> but there's no, they're white. They're not white. They they're are white. blue. They're not robins, anyways. You guys are killing this. Hey Keith, you can leave now. Thank you. So okay, that's it. Where's the red bat? So today was my day off. I didn't even realize it until last night, and I had no plans, so I slept for like 13 hours. What did you do today, Jim? Uh, nothing. Yeah, that's exactly nothing. what I did. And I slept. Then I woke up because I overslept. So then I felt sick. Cleaned my house for a little bit. Gonna go some bowling later. Gonna lay the smack down. Bowling? Where are you going? Yeah, grind. Yeah. Hey, yeah. speaking of bowling. Yeah. Um, Game on. Hopefully next week. Game on. Hopefully next week. Game on. We'll be opening at the Mohegan Sun. And uh, that is owned by... The Lions Group, same people that owns land, own lands down in Avalon and Vista and Summer Shack. It's going to have a, uh, I don't remember if it's six or eight lane bowling alley. It's going to have pool tables. It's going to have uh, arcade games. It's going to be like a giant Dave and Buster's meets high rollers. Mm-hmm. It, it's going to be really good. It should be a huge, yep. huge success at the casino. And um, Alan... Vicato, who was the uh, general manager of Lansdowne, is going to be running that. So yeah, it's exciting. Exciting, yeah. and they'll be doing karaoke over there too. So hopefully, I get individual some over karaoke there. rooms. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I don't. Th- I think it's a machine pretty though. Interesting. Yeah, no, I know that too. But they're going to bring in live stuff too. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, that's how popular karaoke is. They're going to be doing individual rooms for it. Hey, so. Are we allowed to talk about that other place that's opening up? You know anything about it? Yeah, hold on. We got one more event to mention one right more. off the bat. And uh, it's taking place this Saturday. And it is our 10th annual Go Bald for a Brother. This year it's benefiting Jonathan Lilpop. He was the Connecticut Department. Uh, he worked with the Connecticut Department of Public Health, former Region Four EMS coordinator, and a volunteer at the Colchester Hayward Fire Department. It's uh, held in memory of Pequannock Bridge firefighter Todd Williamson. Um, Todd died. Wow, it's been ten years since since Todd passed away, which is just unreal. And uh, this year, it's normally held at the Mohegan Fire Company. However, this year. It's going to be held at the Epicure Brewing Company on 40 Franklin Street in Norwich. And I know it says it's because it's the Epicure Brewing Company, people did not think it was it was family friendly. Yes, it, it's for kids, for adults. It is a family friendly event. And again, it's going to be this Saturday at the Epicure Brewing Company, and they'll be. Go ball for a brother merchandise, raffles, 50-50 raffles, uh, Rolling Reds food truck is going to provide the food. Um, not sure what they have for prizes this year for the, the raffle, but normally in years past, some of the raffle prizes have been fantastic. Um, you know, like the Red Sox usually donate something, the Giants, uh, the Jets, um, all kinds of fire equipment. And, again, this Saturday, June 15th, 12 to 3, at, I got it, Epicure Brewing Company. <laughs> no, why are you looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying I'm to help paying attention. <laughs> trying I don't even know what day here. it is. What day is it today? Today is the uh, 11th. 16th. 11th. Not the 16th. I can't believe it's June 11th already. No way. <laughs> you know what's happening in, like, a month? The Thames Street Family July? Fun Festival <laughs> yeah. on July 13th. 
That's right. If you got any kids or if you got any family members that like to have fun, you definitely want to go check that out. It's um, the second annual Thames Street Family Fun Festival taking place on Saturday, July 13th on the Groton side of the Thames River. That same night, the fireworks extravaganza is going to be taking place. So come down for some free activities sponsored by JPO Productions. A lot of other great businesses and local vendors who are taking part in this event. We're going to be having free bounce house, free photo booth, face painting, arts and crafts. So much stuff to do for you and your family. And like I said, it's free. So you got to come down and check that out. We're opening up at 4 o'clock, so you can come down for a couple hours. You can come around 6, 7 o'clock, enjoy yourself for an hour and a half, and then just watch the fireworks. It's a perfect spot to come down and do that. It's definitely definitely something different from Sailfest. And this is actually going to be the future Sailfest over the grind side. So you definitely want to come check out how we grow this event out because it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty huge, Jim. It's gonna be it pretty is. Huge. It, it definitely is. I mean, every year you have something to do on the New London side, but there's not much on the Groton side. And nope. JPO is gonna bring the boom. That's me. Yes, we're gonna be uh, bringing down our new stage. We're gonna be broadcasting the music for the fireworks, so you'll hear the sync music down the street. Like we're we're planning on shaking some houses with the sound system that we have uh, coming for it. So it's gonna be awesome. And then we're gonna be throwing money off the stage. So are you really? Yeah, yeah, I really am gonna throw some money off the stage. We're gonna videotape it. <laughs> You're gonna end up gonna with a freaking riot. And yeah. So I gotta check the laws on that, but I figured we'll just have all the kids line up off the stage. And then we'll just shoot money, and we'll just tell people it's just for kids. And we'll just make it rain dollar bills. But, yeah, I was thinking about the whole riot thing, so I should probably look that up. Yeah. I mean, you if that people would change. incite people, <laughs> if that would cause some trouble, I don't know. But I like doing crazy stuff, so that was something that came into my mind the other day. So we want to make this different. We're not just some regular entertainment company. We're not out there doing the same thing as everybody else. We're out there doing original stuff. So, wow. If anybody's got some good ideas, let me know. We're always looking. Jake Sarah Joe. works for Rolling Red sometimes. <laughs> what is what is that? Is that a pizza place or no? It's a, a food truck. I, know, I mean, like a pizza truck or like uh, they got a little bit of everything. And uh, Randy is her ex's uncle, so. Outstanding. Maybe you'll be there. Oh, wow. And yes, Jocelyn oh. nailed it. August 2nd through the 5th in Williamsburg, Virginia. Scares that care weekend. I can't wait. Hopefully I can uh, get there. Right now it's uh, it's up in the air. So I thought you were going. What happened? <sighs> Things. Is life getting in the way? Life, yeah, life is in the way. Um, speaking of life getting in the way. One of my friend, one of my childhood friends, um, he grew up next door to us. I mean, we grew up together. He was a member of the Mohegan Fire Company. He was. Uh, we worked at American Ambulance together, and uh, we just. I mean, we know we've known each other since we were kids. Um, he passed away yesterday at the age of, uh, I want to say, forty-six, and. Um, just kind of really, really puts life in perspective. You know, the reality hits, and um, yeah, it's uh, it sucks. But uh, just want to extend my condolences and my prayers to the Vars family and uh, his wife, his parents, and uh, yeah. All right, so <laughs> we were talking about. Thank you, Sarah. We were talking about movie remakes. Remake. And it was pretty funny because some people get really serious about movie remakes. Whether you like the original, whether you like the old one. Um, of course, the, the discussions didn't become as heated as politics, but they're very, very passionate about it. Now going to name, we're going to talk about some of the top remakes, and uh, let me know what you think. Some of these movies people didn't even realize was a remake, and at the end, I'll let you know what my favorite remake is. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. So, number one, 2002, The Ring. 
The Ring was actually a remake. Yeah, right there. And for those that don't know, uh, a journalist investigates a series of mysterious deaths and ends up wrangling with the curse of an evil videotape. The kind that, seven days after viewing, causes death by a lanky-haired, double-jointed female ghost. Okay. The original one was called Ringu, and it was a Japanese movie. And I believe that one came out back in 1998. So, they gave the rating, <laughs> Sarah says, seven days. Um, they gave the rating a six out of ten. All right, which is obviously more favored. I honestly have never seen the original one. Basically because I don't like movies with subtitles. If I want to read, I'm going to read a book. If I'm going to watch a movie, I'm going to watch a movie. Yeah, right over there? Yeah, I'm oh, listening. Okay. <laughs> I'm letting you take um, this. Apparently the Japanese... You saw the Japanese one too, sir? Well, which one did you like better? I, uh, it says the Japanese one was um, gorier. So... They gave it a 6 out of 10. Personally, I like The Ring. And then once you get to The Ring 2, The Ring 3, The Ring 15, um, after the first one, most of the time movies go downhill after the first one. You know, the sequels, not all of them, but some of the sequels are horrible. All right, Jocelyn says the original was good. The American remake was better only because reading the subtitles didn't detract from the story. Exactly. Uh, Sarah says, honestly, meh, I don't think gory equals scary, so I didn't think the Japanese one was scarier. Okay. All right. Now, this one people are really passionate about. Number two, 2003, the remake of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, first of all, controversy surrounding this movie. In the beginning of the movie, and they have that whole thing, and it says, based on actual events. Okay, no. It was not based on actual events. There was no actual Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm, you sure about that? I am positive about that. I've done my homework on it, and uh, they've never, nobody's ever done anything like that. No, I mean they got murders down there, but nothing like tech. That, nobody went around chasing somebody with a chainsaw and wearing their face, and no. Eh, maybe somebody should. So the original movie came out in 1973. Um. Bill Mosley, who's some of you know, some of you don't know, he was in The Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpses. He was in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And Sarah, I got to agree with you. I, I like the original. I think the the original was definitely better. Um... Not so much scary, as in things jumping out, for, jumping out at you, and this and that. But it's got that that shock factor where you're, you know it it could actually happen. It probably won't, but you never know. Next up, Dawn of the Dead, two thousand four. I thought it was pretty much identical to the original. Well, I mean, other than obviously that the Billy was actually hysterical in that movie. Yeah, he was. Other than the fact that the the zombies are a little more quicker and more zombie-like in the the new one, um, 
I think the 1978 one was pretty much right on. I think they were both pretty close. Sarah didn't like either one. Okay. Don't yell at you? Is that what you said? <laughs> Why would we yell at you? <laughs> Sarah, does, Sarah doesn't want us yelling at her. She doesn't like any of those movies? She doesn't like the, the Dawn of the Dead. And that was the mall one, right, where they were stuck in the mall? Yep. I thought that was pretty interesting. Could they really, I don't know, how long did they live there? Do you remember? Uh, it wasn't too long because uh, I don't want to give it away. But hey, who cares? It's an old movie. I the mean, woman died in childbirth. Yep. And then her and the baby became zombies. And then, uh, wait, I lied. I meant that about Evil Dead, not Dawn of the Dead. Okay. Evil Dead was not that bad. I liked Evil Dead. The, I liked the original Evil Dead. Did not yeah. like the new one, but we haven't gotten that far The yet. Evil Dead with, what is it, um, Campbell, right? Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. Yep. It was pretty awesome. So, they gave this one a 7 out of 10. I can go with that. The little girl in the beginning still freaks me out. Yeah, absolutely. It's George Romero. I mean, you've met George. I've met George. Um, unfortunately, George passed away. Um, but he was uh, he was an interesting individual. All right. Black Christmas 2006. I thought it was horrible. Just me. I think the original one was way better. And if you haven't seen Black Christmas, it's a group of sorority sisters are stalked by an insane asylum inmate who's recently escaped and is on the loose. That's pretty much it. It's it's a slasher flick, and you never heard of Black Christmas? I've uh, never. That's pretty much it right there. <laughs> a guy escapes from the insane asylum and goes after these sorority sisters on Christmas Eve. The original was 1974. The new one was 2006. And... <laughs> Let's put it this way. It got a 3 out of 10 rating. Wow. Yeah, it was. By yeah. the way, you're listening to us on WFPN Norwich, Connecticut. And our studio number, if you want to call in and be part of the show, is 860-626-5193. Again, that is 860-626-5193. Thank you for taking it. Call over. us, Morgan. Sure. Yes, uh, anything uh, Call us. said will end up over the radio and over Facebook, so watch what you say. Okay, this next one, I liked both. What? I liked both, and the new one got an 8 out of 10 rating, and that was The Hills Have Eyes, 2006. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie. I liked them both. The, uh, the original Hills Have Eyes was 1976, and... Oh, my God, I can't think of his name. Jocelyn, help me out. He was at uh, the first Scares at Care, I believe. Uh, Berriman, Michael Berriman, was in the original Hills Have Eyes. And uh, if you've never met Michael, he is a great, great guy. And um, the new one, pretty much spot on, just different cast members. Yeah, Berryman was. He was he was awesome in the original. He's but he's pretty much awesome in every movie he's been in. And um to sit there and talk with him and just listening to the, the, the stuff he says. Um amazing, amazing man. All right. <laughs> man. Hmm. Halloween two thousand seven. Now I have a huge Halloween fan. Love the original series. I thought Rob Zombie's remake was fair at best. I um I don't know. This Rob Zombie does he does some good stuff and some of the stuff I, I really don't care for. Uh the second Halloween, Halloween two, atrocious. 
absolutely horrible. Um, it was like he just threw something together because he had said he was going to do three movies or something like that. It sounds sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, the original Halloween, one of my all-time favorites. The 2007 Halloween, not so much. There were some things that they really didn't need to put in there. All right, Sarah, take care. Bye, Sarah. There were some things that they put in there that they didn't need to put in there, and... The only thing I liked about the new Halloween was it expanded more on Michael Myers as a child. You know, it did. So this flashes. The lightning. Yeah, there's a lot of lightning in the studio. He's Jesus. taking those pictures. What um? So what are we, we're on Halloween, right? How many movies did they end up making? Probably just as many as Jason, or not as many. Well, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the original series, or are you talking about Rob Zombie's? Um, Rob, Rob Zombie did two. Yep, yeah, and that's the original one, or no? No, that's the new one. The original one did... Ten, maybe? And then they did a, a new one that came out last year that basically erased everything after part one. And it was pretty good. It was definitely pretty good. Didn't know how I was going to feel about erasing everything after part one, but... And that brings me to Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, 2009. I can't... Uh, see, it's hard for me to say. Being friends with Kane Hodder... <laughs> whether I was friends with Kane Hodder or not, he's still the quintessential Jason. He's the best. He's the best there is. And, um... The new one was okay. It got a 5 out of 10. Um, Storyline could have been a lot better. Derek Mears, um, who I'll be seeing in a couple of weeks, plays the Jason in that movie. And, um, yeah, I was just like, eh, good could take it or not take it. And then the one I despise the most. Mm. Right? You didn't like this movie? <sighs> Nightmare on Elm Street 2010. No, I hated it. Absolutely hated it. It was horrible. Uh, even, even, um, oh, uh, what's his name? The original Freddy Krueger. Robert England. So it's like, what the hell did they just do? No, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible movie. Uh, the the guy they got to play Freddy, he 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 was atrocious, atrocious. And um, Jocelyn says friends with Kane, Steve, CJ. It does make it a little difficult to judge. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. Or you just got to pick the best one, your favorite one. That's. <laughs> Yo, Again, what's on that guy's face? That's uh, that's from the thing. They there were three. It looks like he got a bunch of things on his face. Yeah, there hmm. were three movies, uh, three remakes or two remakes of the original thing, 2011, um, 1982, and then uh, there was one in 1951. Um, I didn't like it. All right. So, yeah, that was pretty boring, Jim. You're making us all fall asleep over here. I'm about to pass out again. Well, I'm sorry. Did anybody ask you? Yeah, I asked myself. <laughs> mm. So, what is your so after all that? What is your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie? Yeah, Halloween. Halloween. Out of that whole list, or out of like every? Oh, out of every, world? out of everything. In it's... the whole world, you like Halloween the best. Yep. Why? Why do you like that one? I don't know. I don't know if it was just because it was the probably it was the first horror movie I ever saw, and I just I don't know. I just like Michael Myers, and I like the the premise of the show. Now, my favorite remake was The House on Haunted Hill. Hmm. Um, even though the original one had Vincent Price and uh, was pretty good, 
the new one that they made was was amazing. I loved it. And I don't remember what year the House on Haunted Hill came out, the new one, but it was great. Mics are off. Mics are dead. No, they're not. No, they're not. Um, my headphones are dead. Give me a second. <laughs> James is dead. We shut him off. Probably. We shut him off. I quit. <laughs> All right, there you go. My headphones working now. Yo, Jim, can you hear me over there? I can hear. Hey, hey, yeah. No, just the connection over here for the mic suck. Oh yeah. There so, you go. Thirteen Ghosts is still awesome. Yes, it was. That was a good movie too. Um, is that the one that the man? They were locked in the. The mansion or whatever. In the, in the glass house thing the there. Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, I got it now, Keith. It's fixed. Oh. It's fixed. I need to get over there, but... So, Keith, if I was to show the video over here, would I get sound? Um, make sure to take uh, desktop audio and turn it on. Oh, hey, there we go. Bang on. And be careful about showing Bam. videos because you can't copyright. Yeah. Well... Yeah, Jim, be careful. Stealing people's work online. Really? Oh. Or scoot over. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying. taking over here. I'm, I'm taking over. Keith's taking over. What are you doing over there? Wow. All right, go ahead. James, what did he do to you? He touched me. He touched you? He touched me sexually. Dear God. Wow. No. Huh. Hello. There you go. Hey, there he is. Hey. Hey. So, yeah. So we we finally got that fixed. You know, wow. and what is this? So, it rained really bad today. Did it rain in the morning? I woke up at like eleven. Yeah, rained a little so. bit. I wouldn't say it rained really bad. I don't know. My neighbor was telling me that it was like downpouring and the wind was crazy, and he couldn't even find his cat, and he was very upset. And I was like, "I killed your cat last week. I ran it over. I just forgot to tell you." And then he was like, "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." He's pretty pissed, Jim. He was really pissed. He ran over his cat. Up. <laughs> Listen, if the cat wasn't in the road, he wouldn't have gotten run over. Wow. Sorry, bro. R.I.P. that cat. I don't even, even know what to say to that. Yeah, he's gone. Keith, your cat's next. Your cat is next. <laughs> so what's going on for this week, man? Oh, man. What are you doing this week, Don't Jim? Don't say nothing about my cat. Jim, what are you doing this week? You know what I'm doing. I'm working. Why? Why do you work all the time? I ask myself the same question. Why do I work all the time? And you just work over there, right? I mean, you have another job? Uh, yeah, I teach CPR. Oh, yeah? How often? <laughs> as often as I can. Do you smell do that burning? Yeah, I do smell something burning. That's probably that cat I ran over. It's the rest of your <laughs> hair burning off. No, we do smell burning, just so you know. I blew out a candle. Calm down. Jeez, you guys. Why do you even have a candle You're over there, You're over there wrecking weirdo? wires and stuff. I didn't even Screwing touch something. up headphones. You have some ghetto stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind, sir. Get you bring, aren't, you're get a DJ. You don't know better to bring get your own it, headphones? Get it, get it, get it, I'll get shut it, off get your get microphone. Get it, get it, get it, All right. So, we talked a little bit about Scares That Care. And Ooh. now I am going to show you a little bit about Scares That Care. Show them, show them. Get it. Hot ticket. Hi. Oh, she Truck is hot. Keith, right I'm not getting any sound here. Why? We ain't getting no sound, Keith. Oh, from the video? Yep. You're not going to hear it. You don't monitor. Okay, but they can hear it on Facebook? Yeah, they can hear it. It's mixing in with everything. See? Oh, okay. Nice. So you're talking And here you go. Here's a little bit about Scares that Care. Joe Ripple. And we're back here in Williamsburg, Virginia for the second annual Scares the Care Weekend Convention. I'm here to uh, show love and respect to Scares That Cares. It's a charity, and so I'm definitely uh, grateful 
that I was invited to be a part of this event, and uh, there have been many people who've helped me along the way, so if I can give something back, help some children, help some people along the way like I've been helped, then I'm down for that. What we do is each year we select three families. They consist of a woman who's fighting breast cancer, a child that's been severely burned, and a child that's severely or terminally ill. And to help offset the problems with the bills and medical costs and living expenses, um, what we try to do is we raise $30,000. We write each family a check for $10,000. Um, it's a very important convention for everyone involved, all the people that do this. You know, they put all their time and effort into it. Nothing they get at the end of it. You know, it all goes towards the needing families and that. So it's a good cause. All the money goes to the people. I mean, there is no, this is the non-profit. This is a truly good. But then also, it's a great place to meet the fans of horror, science fiction, and fantasy, uh, both the films and the books. Uh, and it, and it's, it's, just, it's just a wonderful a uh, atmosphere. It really is. I had a lot of friends who took part in it last year. Uh, it sounded like a great cause. They do a, a lot of great work here. It's a fantastic charity. Joe Ripple does a, a wonderful job with it. And uh, of all the events that I do, this seemed uh, to actually resonate with some importance to it. So. Joe Ripple's passion made me want to be to be a part of this. Um, and him teaming with Brian Keane, uh, the two of them together are unstoppable. I'm Brian Keane. I'm an international best-selling author. I've written about 50 novels. I also write for Marvel Comics, DC Comics. I've written for The X-Files, Doctor Who. For me, it's all about the charity. I, mean, I do 30, 40 of these shows a year. This is the one I make sure I come to, and I make sure it gets my full time. If I stop doing shows tomorrow, this is still the one I do every year. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about this event? Uh, you got a couple of days? No, this event is great, okay, because it helps out people all over the country. What I'm looking forward to seeing here uh, is a lot of fan presence. You know, meeting good people, you know, uh, having a good time for a good cause. And that's what I really like. This year we've got uh, Kim Coach from Sons of Anarchy is going to be here. We have Piper Laurie, who is the mom in the original Carrie movie. Alrighty, I knew that at Scares that Care we'd be in for a trick and a treat, but boy am I excited to be right next to Grimm. Um, for somebody who has never been here before for this event, what would you say would draw them in? What is, is like something that's really exciting about it? Well, we try to be a little bit different here. In some cases you would find a horror convention where they go for all the blood, all the guts, everything they can do. We try to be family friendly. It's not just scary stuff. It's fun. It, it really genuinely is all ages. It's a family event. I mean, yes, there are scary things around, but there's also a lot of fun things to do. It's a great atmosphere, uh, fun for people of all ages, and parents can actually get away for a little while and have some fun. Uh, unlike the movies, most of the people are wonderful, they're polite, and they, uh, they're here to have a good time and to share with other people. When you were a kid, you know, and you used to go play around in the amusement park, it's like a lot of grown-ups walking around reliving their childhood. So it's just a lot of positive, happy, smiling faces, man. Come along and see all the stuff that's here. You know, there's a lot of great guests here, fellow fans of horror and all that kind of thing. It's a great atmosphere. All the people that are into horror, just a great bunch of people. Crowds moving, jpoproductions.com, or you can give us a call, 860-941-7395. We're bringing the party to you guys. To and there you go with that little video tribute to Scares I Care. We're back on Morgan. Above, Morgan's out. She's listening to us right now at the gym. Hey, Morgan. Running on the treadmill. Another video. Oh, there go, go, Morgan, go. This drone footage run, was Morgan, run. Run. She's going to be checking in with us later. The video starts Later. out ordinarily and now that we were sometime silent. around the five-minute mark, so you might we're, be able we're to back see on now, though, right? But we were silent because the video was going. Yes, yeah, so that's what I told her, but we're unmuted now. Jocelyn, you, you can hear the video, right? You can hear I was watching it over here. You can hear it. You can hear us, Morgan. It was like we were... Morgan. What, Steve? Wow. Many You're people singing. claim they can see a large creature yeah, stop and look tonight? up as the Mike drone Jack. passes uh, by. Some even claim uh, that this is a Bigfoot which, sighting um, in broad daylight. What? I do see what they are talking kind of about. Bad night I personally last Thursday, don't huh? see any movement. Ah, it was and a little I think slow. It, could possibly it was fun. Uh, it was Jim, a little brittle. It was a little slow. Video in the background. 
audio from the video playing in the background. Mm, yeah, shut that off, Jim. Well, I don't have any videos playing, so... <laughs> I know I'm good, Keith. Go You're sit good, back Keith. down. Oh, my God. He gets so anal. He's like a I'm helicopter kidding. mother. He's like flying. I'm trying to help you out. You're being a <laughs> Yeah, I oh, ended it. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Guys are bullies. We are. So what about that new nightclub? Can we talk about that? Go ahead. Do you, you know want... anything about it? Because I don't know anything about well, it. Then why do you want to talk about it? Because I wanted to get some information from you. Maybe we'll talk later about it. What do you want to talk about? That's going to be pretty interesting, though. Yeah. I don't know how it's two of them are going to sustain. They're not. In one casino. They're not. They've got their own. Uh, it's interesting. They've got their own people that they're bringing in, and uh, it is what it is. It's really interesting. Interesting. Aren't they opening up a new restaurant, too, somewhere in the casino? A new restaurant? Yeah. Um, game on. It's the only thing I know. Game on. That's right. We just plug away. So I went to Foxwoods this past... Nope. That was two weeks ago. Wow. Life's going by so quick. <laughs> what are you laughing uh, about? John's got jokes. What did John say? Jim's about to owe me $20 after last night's win by the Warriors. Yeah, I believe they're still up three games to two. Yeah. Bruins are going to lose, though. It, shut up. I swear to God, I will punch man. you. They're not going to win, Jim. And they... Uh, they gave them that game last night. Warriors had that game. I don't know why when you have a six-point lead, you're going to sit there and just keep trying to throw up threes instead of just taking it to the basket. And I, I don't know. The, the Warriors really screwed that. I mean, oh, the, you're uh, talking basketball. Oh. The, uh, the Raptors really screwed that up last night. Mm, yeah. And what did I tell you? I told you oh. that uh, – that kid, he was going to re-injure himself, and now he's seriously re-injured himself. That was just stupid on the part of the Warriors for letting him play. So, yeah, I will collect my 20 from you later in the week. Oh, uh, you mean you're paying him 20 bucks? Oh, no, 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 no. He no. owes you 20? He's going to owe me 20. We're going to be collecting Kendrick soon. Ken Kendrick, you hear yeah, that? Good luck trying to collect money from Kendrick. Yo, he owes me like $80 now. <laughs> It's because you're charging him interest. Yeah, well, one day he's going <laughs> to slip up. He won't be showing up for work. He might fall off Escalade or something. Oh, my God. Now if he could, now if something happens to him, he's going to look at James <laughs> Patrick O'Grady. Not me, man. I got people. Ain't me. I got people. I just gave the order. Oh, <laughs> uh, Is he even listening anymore? Kendrick was my money, bro. I don't know. Kendrick, he's still Is there? Randy on there? I want um, some food. No, I haven't seen Randy yet. What um, what is Randy? What what is his food special this week? You know, I don't know, I don't know. I know um, he made some some fried veggies last week that were amazing. Fried veggies, huh? Yeah, I I had my first fried green tomato. No, I've never. I had never, never ever that. ever had it before, and I will never ever ever have it again. I mean, it was okay. It was all right. Not my thing. Um, the fried mushrooms and the uh, fried zucchini and the buffalo mozzarella sticks, those were awesome. But other than that, yeah. Oh, by the way, did I tell you he made buffalo mozzarella sticks? <laughs> One. The other day. One. No, he did Yes, he did. What day was it? Um, I don't know. It was either th Friday Oh, I'm on the f either Friday or Saturday. How did they turn out? Did you have them? They were amazing. I told you that is <laughs> that should be my. I'm going to charge him for that. Yeah, Randy, how are you, how are you those are my, That's that? my idea. He stole my idea. That you stole from somebody else. He stole my idea. No, but I've you, never seen any buffalo mozzarella sticks anywhere. Have you? No. No. <laughs> They're going to be called James O'Grady's mozzarella stick, or short for James's stick. You want to get James's stick tonight? No. That's <laughs> Nobody wants. They James were really stick. good though. How many were in the? How many? You got to tell no, me all they, about they, it. They, he didn't. He just made them extra for like us. Oh, he didn't serve them. No. And they no. tasted good though. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. They were. They were delicious. Oh what? Did he serve with blue cheese? I think it would be banging with blue cheese. Uh no, I'm not. Sh they had stuff up there, but I just had them plain. Oh, so I don't know. So good. <laughs> well, he better make them again. That what everybody else say was pretty good. 
I should put my name on it. Oh my, my god! My name on it. All right, I, I, I'll tell now John. Me John, really tell Randy to name the mozzarella sticks after me. The James O'Grady monster stick. No, monster mozzarella. I, I don't know. <laughs> Moz stick. I don't know what are we called. It sounds so delicious, though. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Mozzarellas. Yep. Speaking of mozzarellas, I'm gonna yep. get some. I'm getting some after this. You know what? Who cares about dieting? <laughs> I already cheated a bunch of times already. Where are you gonna get them from? I don't know. Maybe I'll just call Randy. What's his phone number? I'll show up at his house. Oh, uh, he's at Lansdowne. Okay, so I'll just show up at Lansdowne and say I want buffalo mozzarella sticks. Now. Hollywood go nuts no. for anything buffalo lately. She's in a major buffalo mozzarella, uh, buffalo flavor thing. Chicken, mozzarella sticks, cauliflower. We so have to come for a visit. Yeah, the buffalo cauliflower was really good. Yeah, no, it was good. And supposedly I got it on a bad night, but it was really good regardless. It was amazing. I don't even like cauliflower, but I when I ate that, oh, my goodness. That's where I came up with a mozzarella idea. So I was the original <laughs> mozzarella stick. Buffalo. You're really butthurt about that, aren't you? Yeah, my butt hurts. It's been hurting all day. <sighs> all day. Call now, Morgan. Who's Morgan? Call now. She said, when can she call? And I said, call now. Eight six zero six two six five one nine three. Nine three. Man, I am. So John, are you working? What is John at work in the kitchen over there? No, John works behind the bar. Ah, uh, is that the one that he's always there on Thursdays, right? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. yep, yep. I know John then. Uh oh, phone call. Who could it be? Who could it be? Who could now? it be? Hello, you're live on the radio. Hi, how are you? Hello, who's this? Morgan. No, oh, hi, Morgan. Morgan. How are you today? How are you guys? We're doing good. We're just talking about mozzarella sticks. Do you like mozzarella sticks? What? Uh oh, we lost Morgan. I don't think she likes mozzarella sticks. Hello. Then she's fading in and out. Hello. Hello. Can Hello? you hear me? Yeah, we're talking about mozzarella sticks. Do you like them? I love mozzarella sticks. What about buffalo mozzarella sticks? about that what <laughs> what did she just I say she, that'd be good. She, she, what, said she doesn't my, know about that the phone's cut now what is she saying i don't know what she, she's saying she said she doesn't really know about that she said that the eggs were white though so she, she said the eggs the were egg, white oh my god morgan those eggs that we posted up on facebook they're white right no no they're blue no they're not why you gotta agree with jim <laughs> Because they're robin eggs. Thank you. No, they're not robin eggs. Thank Are you, you. Like bird experts? Are you guys bird experts? Uh, uh, no. no. Robins are the most prevalent bird around here. They're robin eggs. They're blue. Spell prevalent. Suck it. Spell it. <laughs> Spell that word right now, Jim. What? And I will give you some of my mozzarella. What am I spelling? Prevalence. Prevalence or prevalent? Whatever word you just said. So you don't even know what word I said. So I could spell anything and you'd be like, oh, okay. So, Mark, you still there? I'm here. How's the gym going? It was great. It was oh, five was... and a half miles. Oh, nice. nice. How good. long? How long did it take you to do that? Uh, fifty minutes. Nice. Five. You said five miles. She said five miles. Five and a half. Five and a half. And fifty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm sorry, I'm driving, so my phone's probably cutting out a little bit. Oh, it's all right. Just make sure you're speeding and swerving at the same time. You know, you know it. <laughs> she knows it. I already know it. She doesn't even use her <laughs> blinkers. Oh, my God. If anybody killed the cat, it was her outside my house. <sighs> was that you that ran over my neighbor's cat? No, no. I killed a raccoon, actually. Oh. Well, I killed a raccoon. You killed the raccoon by giving the order <laughs> to kill it. So, Jim, we were out the other night. Well, actually, like two weeks ago. And I'm driving her car. And there's, like, this raccoon. It's probably, like, like 200, 300 feet ahead of me. So I start slowing down, and she's like... Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! And I was like, Morgan, what are you talking about? 
And like I stopped and then she said keep going so then I just started again and then now he's dead. He's splattered all no, over the I road. No, I said that that's how you cause accidents is trying to swerve and slam on your brakes. You just need to go forward and just go over it. So that's what we did. I did not swerve. I was very professionally driving because I'm a race car driver. And the little raccoon looked right at me and then she was like, kill it. <laughs> And I was like, no! And then I had to put my foot on the gas. I had to do it because I was ordered to. So you did? You killed it? I killed it. You killed it? I killed it. We drove back and it was just sitting there. Its head was like split open. Aww. You dirty bastard. (laughs) I was just just following orders. Sounds familiar, right? Didn't the Germans follow orders or something? I don't even know. Uh, sure. Are you still on there, Morgan, or did you crash? Yes. Oh. No, I'm don't, here. Don't be crashing. You no, ready? I just got home. You got home? Yep. Where do you live? <laughs> Notch. Wow, you're like a stalker, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How do we know Morgan? What are you cooking for dinner? Hello? Hi. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Morgan. Are you there? Jocelyn. Jocelyn says I ran over my neighbor's cat, and when I went to knock on their door to tell them, the woman broke down in tears. When I tried to offer a hundred dollars for it, cop showed up and arrested me for trying to buy. Po- oh my god! <laughs> tried to what? Buy pot? No, I'm just gonna stop. Right oh, there. buy vagina? <laughs> Can we say vagina, <laughs> Keith? Uh. I think so. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> if that will find out. Oh, soon. that's not even a real story, Jocelyn. I didn't even kill my neighbor cat. Morgan killed it, and I just covered up for her. Isn't that right, Morgan? Yeah, I, don't, no, I don't think that's very accurate. I think it is. So are you ready to get it um, destroyed in bowling tonight, or what? I'm going to kick your ass, so, I don't, yeah. I don't know about that. All right, come on. This is going to be a poll right now. I'm going to play Morgan in uh, bowling. Who's going to win, guys? Is it going to be me or is it going to be Morgan? Jo- Jim, who do you think's going to win? I'm pretty sure I beat you last time, so it's going to happen again. <laughs> My money's on Morgan. Your money is on uh, how Thank old? you. All right, are we going to start taking bets? Like She I'll... said she just got done saying she beat you last time. Why would this time be any different? She just went to the gym and she's tired out. Oh. So... She's not going to be able to keep up with my stamina when I'm sitting there throwing the balls down the down the alley, knocking those pins down. <laughs> Isn't that right, Morgan? Good luck. James, be quiet. Oh, Morgan, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Morgan just sounded like the devil. What the hey, hell? You know what? I'm over here. Oh, my gosh. Morgan, are you okay? Do you need some water? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Her voice. But I gotta go in and get ready so I can beat you in bowling. Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. We'll not gonna that. happen, huh? We'll see about that. Oh, we see. We already know who the boss is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got my money on Morgan. Yeah. Well, what is Facebook saying? I know Sarah just said that James is gonna kill her. Uh, Jocelyn says Morgan. Jocelyn is a hater. Everybody, <laughs> hater Jocelyn. You guys all think the eggs are blue. They're white. James sucks at bowling. <laughs> Keith, Keith, you got to take that thing out your mouth. We can't understand what you're saying. Watch yourself, boy. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't even want to know. He's got something in his mouth. You got something in your mouth, boy. Oh, my gosh. You're ruining this awesome call yeah, right now. Right? What are you talking to? Freaking Lucifer over there? What we, the crap? We, have, we finally have a caller, and Keith is just ruining it with his little kid games over there. Oh, my God. She's already off. She's probably scared to call 911. Morgan, did you oh, leave I'm us? Still uh, here. There she is. <laughs> what are right, you doing? So, Morgan, the consensus is that you're going to beat his ass. No way. All right. Well, he'll put it up later that I... No, I, I'm, I'm going. To. There is not one person on here that said you were going to win. Everything is more. Nobody even responded. There's nobody even on there. Yeah, they're, they're, everybody's responding. No, there's nobody. It's just Jocelyn and you, and you guys aren't real people, so it doesn't even <laughs> matter. I'm going to win. You guys think the eggs are blue when they're clearly white. They're blue. Oh my gosh. I'm going to interview people, and they're going to tell me that those eggs are white. I'm going to walk up and down the street 
and ask people, what color are these eggs? And they're going to say white. Because I know I'm right. All right, yep. Morgan, thank you for calling in. You're such a sweetheart. Are you single? Um, yeah. No? Yes? Where are you what? calling it? Where are you calling you from? Know? Do you no. not know? I'm not. Do you not know? No. I'm not. You're not what? No, I'm not single. What? Are, oh, you got like a boyfriend or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I gotta go. Is he cool? I gotta go. Oh, you're gonna go hang out with your boyfriend right now? <laughs> Have fun, guys. Oh, <laughs> Talk to you later, Morgan. Killed it. Bye. Does anybody know who Morgan is? Is that a real name? Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Damn, I just got dissed on my own radio show. Wow. Yeah, you did. Doom. Wow. Doom. Where was she calling from? That's what I want to know. A Doom. phone. Doom. Dominoes. Dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dominoes. That's horrible. Damn. She said yes, no. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe that was kind of a was kind of an on the spot question there. Why was it on the spot? I don't know. Just I mean, just trying to get to know our listeners. And if you want to call, the number is eight six zero six two six. 5193 again, 860 626 5193 gets you on the line with these guys. And James is not really a creep, I promise. Nope, I am not a creep. What we wink, need is a, for a creep to call him. Yeah, come on, somebody call Jocelyn. Why don't you call since you're always on the phone watching us? There you go. 14 Jocelyn. people reportedly killed in 36 hours in Cancun. Wow. 36 hours from today or 36 hours in the past? Or well, whatever the article was written, 36 hours. So why are these people... Okay, so I understand because they're like vacation spots. So we go down there and we act like jerks. And then we flash our money around. And we're out on vacation when these people are living in like shacks and miserable at life. I understand that. But now... Why would they want to kill the people who are bringing money to their island or to their country? Why are they doing I don't, that? Think I don't think it has it. anything to do with money. I, I pretty much think it's just they don't like Americans. But that's what I'm saying, though. But we're the ones going there bringing money, even though we're jerks when we go there. Because I've seen a lot of jerks. I went to uh, Turks and Caicos, and there was a lot of, lot of Americans there that were jerks to the people. Um but you would think, though, since we're spending money there, like, you think they'd be happy for us to be there. So if they start killing everybody, then nobody's going to go take vacation there. And then their whole economy is going to collapse. But I mean, what are, you, what are you thinking on that? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. There's got to be a reason. Like I said, they don't like Americans, so I don't think they're even – I don't even think they care about the money right now. They just want to take out as many Americans as possible. Between there and the Dominican Republic, they're, they're killing Americans left and right. And anybody that takes a trip to Mexico right now, you're, you're out of your mind. Absolutely out of your mind. Yeah. I was always skeptical about going to Mexico anyways, even before all this. It's only going to get worse, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I mean, you got the drug cartels, you got everything else going on down there. Why, why in God's name would you go to a vacation in a place that you know hates us? Yeah, and it's that, like going to South Korea or like North, North Korea. Korea. No, well, people go to South Korea and they get kidnapped. Not so much. Yeah, but you can't even go to North Korea. Can I fly there? <laughs> That's what I mean. Well, I guess they you go can. To Den South Dennis Rodman went to. Yeah, but he's rich. Yeah, he, and he, has his own, he has his own plane. He doesn't have his own plane. Yeah, he does. He does not have his own plane. You're saying that he doesn't have his own plane. No, Dennis Rodman does not have his own plane. Look it up right now. Oh, my Alexa, God. Alexa, does Dennis Rodman have his own plane? Sorry, I'm not sure. See? Oh, my God, Alexa. What are you good for? <laughs> you got to what? Stop messing. Alexa. Do you know anything? I know about lots of things. Try asking a question. <laughs> you got, you got oh. dissed by Alexa. Alexa is even dissing you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well. Alexa, s suck it. All right. The, I think the m mean robot guy is going to come back out in a minute. Alexa. No. 
What are you wearing? They don't make clothes for me. <laughs> oh gosh. Why not? Sounds like every girl's response that I see at the club. <laughs> they don't make clothes for me. Isn't that an accurate, Jim? No. What do you mean, no? You see them all come in like half naked. It's like, why are they even doing that? It's a Thursday night. Have some class. At least wait until oh, Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 You know. Yep. Jim pats them down every time they come in. <laughs> we do not pat anybody down. I don't pat nobody down. Jim pats them down. He's like, I got to check that. Check that deadly weapon before you assault anybody with it. And he's usually talking about the bum bums. No, <laughs> we do not. Bum bum bum. <laughs> Bum, we we bum, do bum. not pat anybody down. I don't. Uh, I know we so. don't. You do. I don't. Wow. Jim be patting him down. He be like, bloop, bloop. Boop. What are you, what are you watching over there? What is going on? Um, Jim? You got a show right now. He looks like he's, he's in a trance. Yeah. I know. He's looking at like weird stuff on online. How are the positions even possible? Like He's looking at some weird porn over there. Oh, no. Yeah, he's got two guys scissoring over a net. Oh, come um, on. What is this, Jim? Right. This is gross. Now you're going to make me show people what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah. Nobody wants now to see Now that you have the capability. At. Oh, my goodness. So they can still hear us talk while they're sh seeing all this weird stuff on here? Yeah. Look at that. Right in the Ooh, face. Right in the mouth. He probably deserved it. What is going on here? Ouch. She liked it, though. Oh, it yeah, looks like she likes being held. Having like a that. broken neck is great. Douche. <laughs> hey. You can't say douche on the Ooh. radio. That one looks pretty cool. <laughs> the dude's reaching out and grabbing her ass. <laughs> While he's riding, that's sexual assault right there. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Ooh. Look at this dude's face. Did he just get hit in the face with that? No, he hasn't even thrown it yet. Damn. <laughs> I'd date him. <laughs> I know you would. I'd date him. What is this? Yeah, she's holding the baby with one hand, and she's catching the ball At least the baby's the got a helmet on. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Other people don't do that. Didn't some girl just actually get hit recently, yeah. or was that an like old video? No. Uh, another one got hit. It was hit. like a five-year-old, six-year-old, and then got like... And the yeah. guy started crying. Yep. The one that yeah. hit her. And he was like, I wish, or I hope that we're going to have a good relationship in the future. Yeah, I mean, that's some Matrix stuff right there. <laughs> That is pretty dope. I wonder if you... Oh. That's a... <laughs> he hit himself in the face with the bat. I don't know how he, how that can happen, though. Hands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I, how is she doing that? I don't think that's a she, is it? Yeah. But what... Is it I a mean, girl or is it a guy? Let's that's see. just a... A normal. I don't, I don't understand what's up. Yeah, with that it's one. a girl. It says her toes. Well, that's some alien stuff right there. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, Jim, we got 18 minutes left to bore these people. <laughs> oh my Whoa. God! There's... But, wow. Oh. Man, this dude needs to pull his head out of his ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is hurting me right now. <laughs> Morgan, you still listening? Or are you mad at me? Text me, dude. That's not. That's that, sure. those aren't his legs. Text me. Yeah, those They're, are his legs. No, it's not. His legs. Are that is here. her legs. See, his legs. God. Oh, Ew. don't stop fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know people like that. Whoa. Yeah, that's not her leg. No, it's still. I mean, it's funky looking. To our radio listeners, they're looking at weird stuff on Facebook. Yes. Oh, weird stuff. Jim likes to look at weird stuff. That's like his MO. If you ever see him, he's just looking at weird stuff on his phone. Look at that. Look at this. He just look at it. A break. He just looked at it. He whipped it out, Keith. He's like, just take a look at it. I had to get my mind grown up fine. Oh, he kicked him in the junk. Oh, yeah. Some soccer players. He came up from behind and hit him in between the legs. I don't even want to know what's going on here. These two basketball players, one's hugging him from behind trying to steal the ball. No, they that, both got interesting faces on. Yep. Is that what's going on here? This guy this is guy's scared of the tennis the, ball. And the face with the tennis ball. 
Yay, we won! <laughs> he's doing some R. Kelly. I believe I can fly over there. <laughs> yeah, don't say he's doing some R. Kelly because... Uh, he's peeing on them ladies. We, hey, we, so I don't understand how he was able to get away with all that for like 15 years, 20 years. Nobody really seemed to care. But then once they made that documentary, everybody's like, wow, he's disgusting. But he was doing that stuff for years and years and years and nobody even said nothing. Everybody listened to his music. And then what it, the documentary came out last year or something where he, like, peed on people and he did so much horrible stuff. And now everybody's outraged, but they weren't outraged before. Why is that, Jim? I think once people started seeing that other people were coming out with other things and getting paid, um, like the whole Bill Cosby thing, the... Um, the Michael Jackson documentary, which I'm still I'm still calling BS on that whole thing. Um, you can read those people like a book, and that whole thing was scripted. And the parents, you know, if it was my kids that happened to that, that that happened to, I'd be pretty pissed. And they weren't. They were <laughs> just telling their story. Oh, Michael was such a good guy, and he did this, and he took us here. And, and then they start talking about, oh, and then... Well, he made him perform this and that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no. I wouldn't be that calm talking about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm calling complete BS on that. But I think with all of these other things coming out, um, all, all, all the people are going to come out of the woodwork and they're going to say, oh, yeah, R. Kelly did this, R. Kelly did that. And he did. I mean, there was a lot that he did do stuff, too. He's definitely not an angel. Um, and... and he belongs locked up for the rest of his life. But more and more people are coming out, and it just makes you wonder. <laughs> now Barfield is listening. What's up, Barfield? He said, Jim, that you were the creepiest of the creep. Yeah, okay. And he said it right here. Show I'm me. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right here. Yeah, show me. It says, he's the creepiest of creeps. Yeah, we're talking you, about you. I'm not talking about me, you He's ass. Talking about you, soldier boy. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I'm watching myself on Facebook Live. 14 minutes left. Let's keep on talking. Keep on talking. Let's prank call people. No, let's not crank call people. Yes. And in case you haven't oh, noticed. Oh, I got a somebody we can call, Keith. James is an emotionally disturbed individual. Type this number in, Keith. They're calling uh, calling someone in Connecticut. He's uh, my buddy, though. It doesn't matter. 860. No, don't read his number over the air. Hey, you hey, can't whoa, put whoa. his number over the air. Why not? Because you can't. I pay for the phone. You'll get sued. It's my number. Doesn't matter. The biggest write, it down, prob- write it down on a piece of paper, and I'll come and get it. You Jocelyn, gotta call him, though. Right? Jocelyn says him. the biggest problem is that there have been so many people with so many stories makes so many people begin to doubt our stories and question the truth. Absolutely, paper. Paper. because it, it changes all the time. And that's like the thing with with uh, with Michael Jackson. Um, it, it makes people who really went through stuff like that, you know. It, it, Keith. I don't know. It's just sad. Keith, take the number. It's very sad. It is. We'll call him. He won't. He'll be good. Who are we calling? I'm going to call my friend. You have friends? If he swears, I got to cut him off. Oh, that's fine. I'll cut him off, too. From the legs. Really? Yeah, let's prank call him. You, I'll talk. You just listen. He's your friend. He's going to know your voice. Oh, he's not going to know my voice. Hello? It's okay. I called I called Lansdowne, and Anna answered, and I'm like, yes, can I order a large regular pizza to go, please? It was a pause. She's like, oh, and What did she say? We don't we don't have pizza here. <laughs> Which Anna, though? There's so many Annas. Uh, Anna number two, not the Anna that comes here. Um, There's three Annas. All right, here we go. I got it. Sure, he's gonna answer. Please dial the numeral one. Oh, come on, Keith. Do you know how to use a cell phone? I thought you said it was your phone. Why is he? Why is that a long distance number? Because he put in the number wrong, probably. Yeah. Wow, that's a beautiful thing right there. What? This girl, um, 
Just posted our pictures of California, San, Santa Monica. Look at that. Look how beautiful those pictures are with nice. the Ferris wheel and like the colors and stuff. Well, I think I might have to add that to my bucket list. Hello, sir. Hello? Hey, man. What's going on? Not much. What are you doing? Uh, another watching TV. Are you having a great day? Yeah. What are you wearing? <laughs> Hello? He hung up. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Call him again. <laughs> Call him again. You know, the cops are going to show up here. Nobody, he's, he's fine. Call him again. <laughs> he hung up when you said what he were. <laughs> Turn him up a little bit because I can't hear it either. <laughs> the, whole, the funny part was he was talking and like. My name is Lucifer. Your call has been. See, he was probably naked and he knew that you saw him. <laughs> <and> <laughs> All right, call one more time, Keith. I wanted to leave him a voice. Who's Sarah? Who is Sarah? I don't know. Ryan Newsom said call Sarah. Oh, I got Sarah's number. Actually, I don't know, Ryan, if I do. Let me look. Let him look. That's his girlfriend. Oh. I've known her for a long time. Probably like, um, oh, so he said, call you. See, he knew it was me. Who? Travis. He knew it was me. He just, uh, he called, he just texted me and said, call again. Idiot. Oh, me or him? You. No. Maybe if we call him again, though, we'll probably start swearing on us or something. Let's see. Let's call Sarah. Oh, my God. What? What? Nothing, nothing. Just keep on going. Well, um, what do you just find out that you had a vagina? No. Um, Ryan. All right, I think this is her number. Let me write it down, Keith. 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 Oh. Keith. Fluids from a decomposing body seep down into restaurant. Mmm. I wonder what it tastes like. I don't know. People are dying to get there. <laughs> and that would be in New York City. New York City. Oh, New York City. That's, oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, my God, it was in Connecticut. It wasn't New York City. <laughs> what was the restaurant? Uh, fluids leaking from a decomposing body upstairs have forced health officials to close a Connecticut restaurant. WFSB-TV reports Windsor police were called to the Siam Corner Thai kitchen. Uh, we just ate dinner there the other night. On May 29th for a report of a foul odor and a reddish-brown liquid dripping from the ceiling of the restaurant. Drip, drip. Police said they entered the apartment above the restaurant through an unlocked window and found the tenant's body in his bed. They said he had been dead for several days. <laughs> oh! Yuck. Do you want me to call him back? Yeah, call him back. He knows it's me, but call him back. That's disgusting. Jim, you talk to him. Go. No, it's all you. Go. It's all you? Yeah, what's up? What up, bro? No, I couldn't hear your voice at first. So. Who, who is this? It's James, anyways. You're James? Or oh, the radio stations harassing me, and I'll have to report them. Oh, who are you going to report? <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters? I already looked it up. That's why I told you to call again. Oh, shut up. What are you wearing, though? You never answered the question. Yeah. I couldn't hear your voice right away, but now I know it was you. So. Yeah, well, they blew it. I tried having him call, but he's just being a little baby. doesn't matter. You, you, can't, you have to call from one of the extension numbers if they have it. 
This pops up cool 101 FM. <laughs> Did it? No, if I Google the phone number, it's one, it's the, one of the main lines. That's why. Oh, you stealing people's phone numbers, Keith? No. Why is it coming up as I Cool have, 101? I have no idea. It should show up as United FM Radio. Very Cool 101. Yeah, I'm sure if I click on it, it will. Yeah, but. what up, Q105? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we dropping all? We can't be saying all that because we're on air. All right, um, where's my money? Yeah. Yeah, well, you and Kendrick. Kendrick, if you're still listening, you owe me my money, Kendrick. I'm still what? I said you and Kendrick owes me monies. Yeah? How about we... Yeah. Yeah. We can talk about Trump. How about that? We can talk about Trump. Oh, Do you like no. Trump? <laughs> what about Trump? I have no idea. Oh, there you go. We can talk about Trump. Make if you want. America great again. We people. got six minutes. I have a hat somewhere. He's. You got a hat? My hat got stolen. Wait, you, how, you got it for me, though. You know. Who got it? I didn't get it for you. Well, yeah, you did. But Jim, your hat got stolen? Yeah, my hat got stolen. How did it get stolen? I don't know. I was where I was doing a security gig, and uh, I took it off for a few minutes and set it down. And when I came back, it was gone. Yeah, they're worth a lot of money. People want them. <laughs> All yeah, right, Travis. Somewhere. You have three of them? No, I have two, I think. Yeah, you don't even wear them, do you? No. You wear your hoodie, though, right? Yeah, I think the go- government <laughs> broke in and took those hats, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, they, there's a marathon here, and a woman's holding up a sign that says, Run like Hillary knows you plan to testify against her. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's kind of interesting a- stuff out there. Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Travis, peace out. Yeah. Hello. Hello from the other side. I'm surprised he didn't freak out. Because he knew it was you. Yeah, no, but I meant like he could have swore and been the jerk face. Oh, no. Why is the number coming up as Cool 101? I think that's pretty cool. I have no idea. That's weird. It's pretty awesome. Keith. Weird. Moving on up. Moving on up. Hold on. Let me look it up. He said he Googled it, so let me look. 860-626-5193. We got four minutes left. Call us right now. 860-626-5193. Hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us up. Jocelyn, I want to hear your voice. Call us. Hey, so these two rednecks were were sitting in a restaurant, and uh, they was drinking their bears. Bears. My bears. uh, This girl starts choking. Choking on that. So the one redneck, the, the first redneck goes up, and he says, Huh, can you breathe? And the woman shakes her head no. So the redneck looks around. He's like, whoa. So the redneck acts, and he goes up. He says, can you talk? And the woman shakes her head no. He's like, oh, hey, she's choking. So he says, you want, <laughs> he says, you want me to help? And she, she shakes her head yeah. So all of a sudden, the redneck goes over. He lifts her skirt up, yanks her panties off to the side, and licks her butt cheek. She got so freaked out that the the object that was stuck in her throat came flying out. And the other redneck was like, wow, well, that was something. And the first redneck comes over. He goes, yeah, that's the first time that their honey licks ever worked. (laughs) Oh, wow. my gosh. <laughs> Jim just made that up. I didn't make it up. Hey, how many babies does it take to paint the wall? Jim, how many? Is this is a disturbing joke. Jim, how many babies? I don't know. How does many it, babies does it take to paint the wall? Depends how hard you throw them. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Oh, Thank you, Felicia. Man. What did she say? Tell her she to said call you're me. an idiot. Felicia, call us up. She says, James is a mentally disturbed individual. She did not say I that. I agree. How could she say that? I just said the joke. She did not say that. It, it's, it's <laughs> Felicia's a hater. <laughs> hater. Hater. Oh, my God. You know, God. I did that joke in front of, like, 100 people in Atlantic City. Because I went there for a show, and we were sitting up front row, and they're like, oh, we're going to do a contest. Whoever has the funniest joke 
will win a t-shirt. So I go up there, and my ex-girlfriend at the time, she's sitting there in the crowd. And I get on the stage, and they have all the lights, like, blaring in my face. And I had no clue what I was going to say. So that was what came to mind. I was like, hey, who's got kids? And everybody started clapping. And then I was like, hey, how many does it take to, uh, how many babies does it take to paint the wall? And they're like, how? I don't know how many. And I was like, depends how hard you throw them. And, like, people just started booing Jim. <laughs> I did not win that t-shirt. <laughs> One guy was laughing, but everybody else was just like, boo. It was the most fun I've ever had, Jim. To be honest, it was like was the funniest it, thing. Was it really? It was. It was the funniest thing. It was the funniest thing. Wow. Yeah, have you heard you've heard dead baby jokes before, right? Yeah, they're 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 disturbing. How many uh, Oh man, that was bad. I can't say that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That one's not as bad as the one that I know. I know other ones, but I'm not going to say that over there because people are going to be pissed. Yep. I'm going to be pissed. I think that's it for us, though. It's 5.59. Are you looking for something over there? Are you just watching your own movies over there, Jim? Like, what's going on? No, you're totally I'm looking, neglecting I'm looking, our listeners I, I, right now. No, and you're making me say dead baby jokes. And shout out to Morgan, who still doesn't know if she's single or in a relationship. She just texted me and said, yo... That's what she said. She said, yo. Yeah. She said, yo. Yo. How many O's are there? One, two, three, four. There's like ten of them. Ten of them. Ten of them. All right, but that's it. That's yeah, it. That's and, it. Um, you signing off on this, Jim? Sign off. We're going to sign off in a minute. Sign but off. Before we do. Sign off. You know we're going with some Bruins. Ah, uh, why? They're going to lose. They're going to be upset. They're not going to lose. That's right. Bitches, tomorrow night, game seven for the Stanley Cup Finals. Boston Bruins, and now we have fun ball. And the St. Louis Union. Who's on the farm? So, it's Felicia. Ah, bye, Felicia. We're first time off, girl. Are you? Yeah, why didn't you listen to it earlier? I left the park with my daughter. <laughs> but it's a good time to say bye, Felicia. Leave your kids in the car and listen to us. Come on, Jones. What? <laughs> what? Wow. Everybody's doing okay. it. It's a new trend. Time in on time next week. We, uh, we, we start at 5 o'clock, girl. Or 4.30. What time do we start, oh. Jim? We start, oh, well. at, we start at 4.30. Yeah, and Jim wants to show off his uh, Bruins video over here. Oh. <laughs> and unfortunately, well, they're going to lose. But if, if you guys run out of shit to talk about, you can always just call me. Right. When, how are we going to call you? We don't got your number. I will give it to you. What's your number? You can't say it over there, Kenji. No. Why? No. It's her number. No, I'll, I'll give it to you after. 8675309. Yeah. 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 No, Keith has it. He can give it to you. Oh, Keith, you got her number, huh? Yep. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> what does Melissa think about that? I have her number. Ooh. You guys all got each other's numbers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And we have some good time. Oh. Oh, no. Good God. Do you hear this, Jim? <laughs> I'm not. I'm um, here. Yep, right here. He's on another page somewhere. Yeah, he's looking no, He's I'm looking right up here. what a threesome is right now. <laughs> he's trying to figure oh. out what that means. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well, have fun with the rest of your two-minute show. No, that's it. We're done. Yeah. We're already over two minutes. You already signed off? I already finished. Right on. Oh. <laughs> so All right. on the air. I'm not on the air, right? Yeah, yeah you are. No, you're not on the air, right? I can't help myself Got secrets I can't tell I love the smell of gasoline I like to match the taste the heat I've always liked to play with fire
I've always liked to play with fire.